All right. So you guys want to know how to play a very fun character. Kalina. This fucking bitch. Mm. This is a Mexican coconut popsicle. That is absolutely delicious. A terrible face awaits all who hear my cry. As much as I be munching, if I gotta teach you guys what the fuck's up. They will stay so this is Cleo. She is an assassin. And she is very good at what she does. Um, first, I will teach you guys what this character has available to her. I'll teach you how to build. I'll teach you how to level her. Um, and I'll give you some, some combos, a couple ways you can, you can turn the tides a little bit, a little bit of secret tech. Let me just finish the popsicle first though, because this is so good. Not sponsored. Would absolutely love to be. Mexican gelato ice cream. Mm-hmm. 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 Boom. Just like that. Mm. If y'all study up what I'm about to teach you, you will do to your enemies what I just did to that pop school. Alright, let's get into it. So Clear's passive. If I walk at the wall. I'm in there. The wall will hurt me. It will hurt me increasingly more and more until it decides to send me out. Can't kill yourself with it, unfortunately. That would be very cool. Um, but you can't. So anyways, fun passive. Um, this character is one. is a cone where she screams at you the third hit does more damage it silences and it does a deafen which barely comes into play but it's a silence uh and you are knock up at me while casting it two very simple line attack if you hit it uh the person you hit cannot see you and uh on top of that you're able to walk through them so you get like a uh, phantom mode, uh, which can be very helpful for bamboozling people, you know, getting ahead. So, you know, I'm able to walk through them and scare the shit out of people. It's wonderful. Um, the three. Three is a dash. This is our movement. And it uh, goes kind of far. So it hits when you dash through, but it doesn't do the most damage. And then that little cone attack, that's, that's what hits. Um, this ability, I'm going to get reduced cooldown so I can kind of show you. Um, you don't have to go that full distance, so you can cancel it basically as soon as you activate it. So if I'm right up to this guy, I go just like that, and uh, still get the damage off. Um, and you can also turn it. So like, if I was dashing this way, and I want to cloud backwards, I can do that. Right? Um... So there's a lot of variability with that ability, and we'll get into that later. The ult. Create this little portal, and it shoots the ghosties out. It does the most damage on the on the first hit, and then it just does these little little johnnies. Um, it's really good on objectives. You can just fucking rip it, or uh, yeah. Um, Let's get into how these abilities work with our passive. So the one, uh, we're able to go in the wall, and it does this. Comes a wider, close-range cone that only hits players. It doesn't hit, uh, doesn't hit minions or anything. Uh, so don't try to steal shit with this; it won't work. Um, but the difference between that um, and the outside of the wall version that's that's very important is that you can act while it's still going off, right? Because this one, you have to channel it. 
right? So I can't like auto while it's going off. But if I'm in here and I throw this, it's going off while I'm still able to do other things. You know what I mean? Um, so that's a, a really special part of that ability. The two you can't use in the wall, uh, but the three you can. And you can do some pretty interesting things with the three in the wall. So let's say I'm in this wall and I want to be dashing out that way. Um, I can actually add the distance inside of this wall to the distance of the dash to go further. So if I hit the three right now, I fly all the way through that little extra bit of the wall plus the full distance of the dash. Um, and that can let you close gaps like a motherfucker, right? Because if I'm in here and somebody's trying to f run this way, well guess what? I get basically two times the distance on my dash if by clicking it early. Um, very, very powerful. The ult inside of the wall, if you're aiming at somebody, it's just the same thing. It's just the same ult. But uh, if nobody's there, you get a little trap. This is pretty much dog shit. Like, you'll pretty much never use this. Um, if you, you know, get lucky and somebody fucking walks into it and gets hit like this, like, cool. But for the most part, placing your ult like that is kind of a waste. Um, let us... I want to reset my level. And let's go over leveling order. So, at level 1, basically every game, you get in the 3. Um, it does the most damage, and it allows you to auto-cancel really quickly on your early clear. So, let's say for example, you know, your soul lane or whatever. Right, you'll start pulling this buff. Right, and you'll hit it with the dash through and the claw. Obviously, I have no items, so I'm getting fucking nuked. But, you get the point. Um, you will be able to do the most damage with that three, and your auto's in between. Um, at level two, the one and the two are both fine, uh, situationally. I'd say if somebody has a knockup or something at level two, um, if, you know, if there's a hebo, maybe. Um, the one could be good to get. But outside of that, for the most part, I like to get the two. Um, level three, you want to have all three abilities. Um, and then this is the part where most of the, most people get this wrong. So, 99% of the time, you're going to max the two. Um, a lot of people max the one for some reason. You know, it, it's kind of a it's kind of like a Fenrir brutalized situation, but it's it's honestly not as good because it hits nowhere near as hard. Um, where you you can get interrupted and it and it causes a lot of problems for your damage potential. The two you can't there's no there's no stopping it. It shoots out, it's fucking doing damage, right? Um, and the three, which the leveling the three is actually really good too. So like you can ma you can straight up max the three if you really want to. Um, and I did that for a long time. The main difference is that if you decide you want to use your three for movement, you lose out on, on total damage potential, right? The two, you have no use for it other than damage. The three, you can, you know, try to use for mobility to get away or do whatever else. And in that situation where you have it maxed, you'll lose a little bit of damage output. Still really strong, um, but I think the two's better. Level five, you'll get the ult. Um, and from here... You're gonna prioritize the one or the two, uh, the ult when you can, your three, and then the one. Um, the one is basically gonna be used for utility, for the silence, for just kind of getting up to people, you know, being a problem. But it's not gonna be your main damage. Your two and your three are what are gonna be really nuking. Um, let's see. So let's go over some builds. If you are playing jungle. You'll be going Boombas. Any other roll, blue stone. So let's do this as if we're jungle. If we're going jungle, the we're gonna go Boombas into our trends. We're gonna get the Soul Leader online. Um, after this, you have a little bit of flexibility. Most games, I'm just going serrated. Um, Jotun's is a little too much for this build. Um, but if you had the blue stone going on, this would actually not be uh, not be that bad. It's not my favorite still. 
Brawlers are great. Um, Hydras is actually a little bit better in this particular build than the Jotuns would be. Um, and then if you were going something like this, you could get, you know, a Heart Seeker and something like a Crusher. Um, and this would be a good build. Um, that's if you wanted the Hydras for whatever reason. But in most situations, I like to grab the Serrated. A uh, Heart Seeker and a Brawlers thoughts. is really good into a lot of situations. Um, Let's you fight into ADCs, they can't life steal off of you as hard. A lot of healers are, are prevalent in the, mele in the meta. Uh, a lot of warriors have heals in the solo lane, a lot of guardians. So it's just good. Even, you know, pots, like, probably just is solid. Um, and then Boomba Spear is what you're going to be. Um, if you were going to Bluestone, um, it'd most likely be, like, if you're solo lane or something else. And I actually like going. Soul Leader before the trance, when I'm not in the jungle. Um, I think the sustain that you get once you get this item online is better, um, because your ult at level 5 is basically still clearing anyways. Um, but for the most part, this is what your build's gonna look like. And... This shit nukes, man. Like, you will be absolutely cooking when you have these items online. Now how do we combo our shit? The two, throughout the game, you're gonna be ripping it. Alright, you just fucking rip the two and hit them. Right? It's like free, free damage from a mile away. Um, the two, you can use it in a million different ways. You can just rip the thing, you can, you know, like, auto-cancel it. So, like, if you want to just suck an auto to auto. Um, and then, basically, the way that we're killing people, is you try to find ways to get as many auto attacks in as possible um, within the rest of your kit. So ways that I like to do go about doing that are uh, I'll use the wall to approach, maybe throw the one out to get the silence, walk up, combo them that way. Um, using that, that wall silence is really, really effective because when you're in there, you can rip the ability and walk out, and you are able to continue DPSing uh, while what would normally be channeled is still going off. Um, the ult, I just fucking rip it for damage a lot of times, rip it over walls when other people aren't paying attention to you. It, it can be kind of hard to hit at times. Um, doing the ult from inside the wall, you know, one shot like this is absolutely an option. It's just, you know, it's for the most part when they're caught off guard because it's it's pretty easy to dodge if they're uh, if they're paying attention, you know, to the walls. Um, threeing through walls, you know, just to just to get up to people will happen a lot of the times for for getaways and stuff. For the most part, you want to try to reach people as much as possible by just walking out of the wall to get to them. Um, let's see. Important things to note. Your one is knock-up immune, uh, when you were not inside the wall using it. So using that to immune knock-up is going to be very, very valuable. Um, let's see, other things. When you two people, you gain the ability to walk through them. And that is very, very helpful for, you know, not getting body blocked, bamboozling people. Shit like that. It's a good time. Um... For the most part, you guys are going to be um, using your three and your two to kind of like one-shot people. The one's basically just going to be set up for it, but it's going to be auto two, auto three, and uh, most people aren't surviving that. Uh, if you get your if you get your timings with you know going in the wall, reaching people, ca catching them off guard, and you work in these auto attacks throughout the game, you're going to be fucking nuking. Um, let's see, a couple of, uh, a couple of extra things to note. Um, this guy's late game. That's where we're cooking. You know, your early game is, is alright. It's not bad. Um, it's better the more autos you hit. 
but your late game is where you are going to be absolutely cooking up with these items. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Got the uh, Maxer 2, Maxer 3, fucking cook them. Oh, just important thing to note, um, using your passive as an escape or to avoid abilities is so good, man. It's so good. Like, you know, there's a new wall, you get in there, that shit won't hit you. Uh, somebody's just about to throw really anything. Go in, avoid it, walk right back out. Get your, get your fucking passive on cooldown. You want to be using it all the time. Avoid shit with it, go in, you know, use it when you're invis. Be a fucking mess with those walls. But use them all the time. Uh, oh, I guess that's one little, little extra thing. You can, uh, use your one for, like, a super fast auto-reset. Um, so, like, you'll literally be autoing. You'll activate the one and instantly cancel it before you even get a single tick off. And you can auto twice like that. Um, that has actually gotten me the kill many times on people like Thors that are ulting and you have to just DPS them. Um... That double auto hit, that'll get you guys some kills. I, I, I already know. It's gonna happen. Learn this god. Carry your games. GG's, boys.